Hi. Happy Saturday. I know some of you are tired of the bubble. I don't know if this is any better. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, this is not what I intended today. So today was going to be a live stream. I had intended to jump back in. So it's been a week since I've done anything, seriously put anything out. And, um, sorry, I got a fan going and I'll explain some of that in a second. So I hope you can hear me pretty good. Um, so a week ago, Friday, we had a leak from our air conditioner in the roof. It was a mess, y'all. It was a mess. I don't know what to tell you other than it was a mess. It, it flooded my rooms, my, my business, my inventory, my electronics, everything. So, it is what it is. It's been a week of cleaning up and starting over and regrouping. And I thought, okay, finally, you know, jump back in. And then, well, last night, I was shook to my core hard to do here on YouTube it really is so let's back up one second and I want to thank all my new subscribers as I started this live I checked in there was seven <clears throat> 779 <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of y'all I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart I can't thank you enough for clicking that button and joining me and uh, hopefully we can get back on track and we can, you know, keep getting to know each other because we're having some conversations in the comment sections and um, I'm enjoying each and every one of y'all. I really am. So what next? Thank you for being here. I don't take notes. I don't. And sometimes I will. I'm not I'm not there yet, but this is kind of off the cuff. This is just me. This is me talking to you and expressing, you know, my, my gratefulness, my thankfulness for you being here. But now I'm going to talk about something that a lot of you have no idea what I'm talking about. So if you want to just, you know, if you could hit the like and leave that's you know, stick around. I don't care. I mean, I care, but I understand this is not your topic for most of you. So I planned to do a live today because I got things back in order and I was ready and last night things popped off in a, a community of YouTube that I'm entangled with and that I enjoy a lot of the people's company over there and there's been some separation and a friend that I made through YouTube oh, a friend let's make sure we air quote it because can be real <laughs> things like that can't be real and um i made a friend and she turned on me surprise right no but anyway so that's another subject so i kind of want to talk on that and i want to know what what my people feel about that if if i should even i'm addressing it now to some degree i mean not the the issues and any of that but if I should talk about it, if I should do it on a members only live, so there's some protection behind, you know, we're, if you're going to have to pay to play. I mean, I understand, but so let me know what you think, because, you know, I want to be able to say what I want to say and do what I want to do if I'm going to do it. So that's, that's a whole nother thing. Um, should I, shouldn't I, what should I do anyway? So last night. The ex friend <laughs> went after my friend on my creator friend, and I've been following that creator for four years. I think we say three, but if we count it, it's 2019 to 2023. <laughs> we just keep saying three. Um, so about four years now. And a lot has happened in those in those years. Don't get me wrong. And, and I don't want to sugarcoat any of it. And, you know, only stand for her and all that. I don't. I mean, so don't. Anyone who knows me. We've come to some terms of she's my friend. But doesn't mean I always agree. But yet I'm still going to be her friend. So accept me for who I am. Me. Not her, me. <laughs> so, if, you know, our relationship is based on what we do together and not what 
other people that I talk to. That's so confusing. But I hope we kind of understand what I'm saying. But anyway. Um, so last night, the, the old friend went after the... Well, is it an old friend, new friend? I don't know. Y'all know. S went after T. Let's <laughs> S went after T. And I've decided that publicly, and unless I do a whole stream on it or whatever, but right now I don't want to bring any more attention to that channel. I think it was a, a they needed watch hours. They just hit 500 recently, and I think they needed watch hours to to level up and and I understand that because I you know like I said I've recently hit 500 and I mean thankfully I'm almost at 800 now but y'all can click that button if you're here just click that over there yeah join say subscribe so I think it was a a publicity stunt but with hate hateful heart that's I think the problem there's certain things, there's so many topics that she could have spoke on that would have brought in views that people would have listened and been receptive to and just gave her all the hours and likes and everything she wanted. But this was a hateful heart. And that's the problem. Because she is a hateful heart. And I know this firsthand. And like I said, I want to talk about all the little details, but I don't quite know how or if I should. So that's up to y'all to some degree to at least give me some input on should I shouldn't I should I leave it alone I've left it alone I've left it alone for several months now and it's just gotten worse for me and I lost sleep last night I was hurt last night I watched her live stream and it, it, there was pain not for myself and for T. Um, so I didn't quite feel like getting up and getting ready and getting on here and saying hey to everybody. And, and I mean, I, I do, I want to do that with y'all, but it just didn't seem appropriate for today, if that makes sense. If I went on and did a live, it was going to have to be a drag session and a stuff. And like I said, if I'm going to talk about this, I want it to be what my followers want and what protects us all in some degree instead of just a full-on visual for somebody to watch and there wouldn't be watch hours for me I don't know is that how some my understanding is it's not watch hours for me but that's I mean it would be membership for a month to be able to get in to to, to participate because then they can't bring it out to public if that makes sense does that make sense to anybody else and if you're a creator and know something different go ahead and leave that for me too <laughs> I am open again I'm open to whatever you have to say so anyway so I just wanted to get on here and explain why I'm not doing what I'm doing right now I may do a live I mean I, I may continue on with this but right now it didn't seem appropriate to just jump on here and and do a the live I wanted to do so yeah so I felt like I had to clear the air a little bit without giving too much fuel to the fire. Everyone I know, which I mean, I know it's there's kind of division in this, but everyone I know doesn't condone what happened last night. And there's going to be some live streams about it, I'm, I'm certain. And I'll, I'll be there for that. Because I'm, I'm shook. I am so shook. It's not the same as people want to, I'm going to let another friend of mine, <laughs> I'm going to let her speak for herself. She has something to say, I'm sure. And I'm going to let her speak for herself. And what she did is what she did. And it's not the same because that was brought up last night that, well, if they can do it, I can do it. No, this is not the same. This is not the same. Talking about minor children and, and it's not the same. It's horrible. What you did was horrible, horrible. And you are not 
Mother Teresa in this situation. You are not the YouTube mom of the year. You've done something on YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube. With an audience. That can be brought to light. That shows you. You don't. You're inappropriate for your own child. So do you really want to. Why? Why do you want to participate in this? Anyway. So. Tira, I am so sorry this happened to you. I'm going to let you narrate your story. So I don't want to put any words in your mouth or put any context to what I may have known for some time or the years have gone by and things. But I publicly, I think we're all aware that that wasn't what we saw first of all I that's not what I saw and that secondly that child has since been adopted and in another family and it was during the transition of that that these things were happening so Why are, why are people traumatizing this child or putting a trauma that doesn't exist on a child that's in a different place and a different life and a different... I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry that I was friends with her for that long. I'm sorry that I accepted things as pain or hurt or... But you know what? Again, <laughs> I don't want to speak too much on it here. <laughs> I just don't. Um, but what I know now and what I knew then, there's a whole, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. And tear, I am so sorry. I'm sorry that this had to come out this way. or That it was even brought out. That it was even searched for. That it was made public to make people aware that it shouldn't be there what well then why why the stream about it you know it I'm, I'm my heart hurts this is why I didn't do what I was gonna do today I didn't get up and get ready and you know put on I got I got my t-shirt on and I'm in pain I'm in pain for all the people that got hurt last night I'm in pain for the people who are still reeling from this today that's empathy. That's concern for other people. That's not a, I'm having a mental health break. I can do what I want to. Did you care about my mental health? I'm just curious. <sighs> Y'all, I can't anymore. So just let me know what you think. Just, should I say anything at all? Should I just keep taking the high road? Because I have definitely taken the high road of the last couple months in this situation and not spoke on it like that. And but my heart hurts. I mean, literally hurts. My heart hurts for what happened last night. And to see that smile on your face and see that smile and hey, big daddy, who does that? You you need help. Okay, so back to the to anyone that stuck through this. Thank you for watching. I am sorry. I am just all over the place, but that's how I feel right now. That my I I am literally just like reeling from what happened. I haven't gotten a hold of Tira today. I have texted her. She has not responded. Um, she was having a hard time before I was texting with her yesterday I'm sorry I'm going to disclose some but there she was having a hard time yesterday in general she did a live about it I'm not a live sorry stream video there's a video that she was recording while I was talking to her yesterday while she was having this hard time and then just hours later all of this happens you know she where, what about her mental health I mean, I know people are like, oh, tears, tear, but she's still human. She is a human un underneath all of the hard persona. Oh, I'm going to give your secrets away, dear. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I better shut up now. So let me know about my conversations. Um, like I said, the the only reason is is to have some security behind it, and so or just not do it at all. I don't know. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers. If any of you didn't already click off, I, I am so happy to have you here. Um, I hope I don't have to speak on this in this way again. Uh, but it really, it really affected me. Why you did this to that child? Because I just can't. Thank y'all.